JavaScript event listeners are used in just about every web application, but once your application gets to a certain size, you might want to start removing those event listeners because it could bog down your application a little bit. Let's take a look at how we can remove those event listeners and save a little bit of space whenever we're loading our applications. Hey everyone, I'm Kyle and I like learning as much as I possibly can about programming and software development and I love passing that information on to others. So if that sounds enjoyable to you, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss another video. Let's get right into it. So over here in the code, I've got a basic program running in my browser and the what this program is doing um, just to give you a little overview of what's going on is every time that I click this green one here it iterates a count uh, indicating that we have an event listener added to this green box here and we want to be able to remove that so every time that this is clicked this count will iterate as long as there's a, an event listener on that so what we're going to do is we're going to use this red box here to remove the event listener so whenever we click on this red box we won't see we won't see this count it iterate anymore so indicating to us that the event listener has been removed right now it's not working because we still need to add the event listener so let's take a look over here to code. Uh, you can ignore all of this stuff and all this stuff down here. And we're just going to focus right here on this uh, remove event listener function. And what we need to do to remove an event listener, it's the exact same as uh, adding an event listener, but you're doing it the exact opposite. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to select that box. Luckily, right here, I have already selected that box. All right. So once we have that box selected, there's a method called remove event listener. And this does exactly as it says. It's going to remove that event listener from whatever element it is being called upon. So right here. On this element, we have that method being called remove event listener. So from this right here is the green box. So we're calling remove event listener on that green box. And there's a couple things that we need to pass in for this to work. All right. So the first thing we need to do is we need to match exactly what kind of event listener we are adding. So down here you can see we're adding that event listener of a click and then we're calling this function here which allows it to increment the count whenever we click on it. So first thing we need to do pass into the remove event listener method is the type of event listener that we want to remove. In this case it's going to be a click. All right. The next thing we need to do is we just need to pass in the listener that we want to remove. So basically the function that it is calling. Uh, this way you can have multiple event listeners of the exact same type doing multiple different things on the exact same uh, element. So all we have to do is pass in the function that is being called. So you can see down here we're adding that event listener as a click onto that box and then whenever it's clicked we're calling this function here so to remove it we're going to call remove event listener and we're passing in that click listener as the first argument because it needs to know what type of listener we're removing and then we also need to know what function uh, is being called so it's literally the exact same thing except it, it's removing it rather than adding it. So if we save this now, we can see this is reset over here. And if we start clicking, we can see that this event listener is on there currently. All right. Now if we click this red box here, it should have removed that listener. So now if I click here again, it's not it's not 
incrementing that count, indicating that we have successfully removed that event listener. So if I hit this reset button, all it does is just resets everything to the default, and we should have that listener back on here again, the allowing us to click and increment that count again. But as soon as I click the red box, where we're removing that event listener, we no longer can increment that count. So I hope that helped you to understand clearly how remove event listener works. You need to pass in the type of listener and the function that's being called on the listener. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I would love to answer any questions you have. Um, also, if you did enjoy, please make sure to like the video and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I post content like this all the time. I love, love learning new things and I love passing that information on to others. So if you did enjoy, it could really help me out if you smash the subscribe button and thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.